Pythonic code, the not invented here principle. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the not invented here principle. We're going to be explaining the benefits of using existing Python features, and we're going to demonstrate how to use the not invented here principle with password checks. So NIH is the acronym, and that stands for not invented here. This is a fantastic principle as it prevents you from reinventing existing features. However, software licenses may become an issue when you're dealing with external libraries or frameworks. However, in this case, for this course, we're going to be dealing with existing features in Python that's already included in the Python programming language. The advantages of using the not invented here principle is that there is less code that you have to develop and therefore there is quicker development times. And of course, if you're using open source software, then there's going to be more eyes on the same bug and therefore you are standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm now going to demonstrate how we can use an existing feature of Python to perform a very common task with passwords. Now, the first example I'm going to demonstrate is how we can pull out three random characters from a string. So for instance, on line five here, we have variable num, and we're assigning that to the integer of three. This is the amount of times we're going to iterate over this password that's on line six. So this is the string, the long password that we're going to iterate over. Now, on line 10, we've got choices, and on line 11, we have this loop. So 4x in range. So what this is doing is it's iterating over this string three times, because num is set to three here. And for each iteration, what we're going to do is pull out a random choice that is in this string. So we have choice is equal to random.choice passing in the string. Then we're appending that choice that we've pulled out to choices and printing them out like so. So if I was to run this here, we can see that we have I, R, and T. If I was to run it again, we should have some more randomness. So I, H, and D, and again, H, R, and R. So. This is actually quite a very complicated way of doing this, and we're not actually using the inbuilt tools that Python offers us. If I was to scroll down here, we can see that we have a simple example that only uses one single line. So let's uncomment this and uncomment that. So we have the simple example where we're just assigning key phrase to a random dot sample password and then the amount of times we want to pull out a sample. So we want three, so num is three. Key phrase equals random dot sample of the password three times. Let's run this again and we should have two outputs here. So the first output is the first complicated example that I showed you. And the second output is this new output, the simple example. Now the second example here, the simple example, is the Pythonic way of solving this problem. Because we're only using one line of code here, we are using the inbuilt features that Python has in terms of this random import that we've got up here. We don't have to worry about looping over the, the actual string because we've got the inbuilt functionality of random.sample. So the point I would like to make in this example is that you need to be aware of all the features that are on offer for Python before you go ahead and actually start trying to come up with a solution yourself. 